Hey guys, Charlie Merrill with Merrill Performance. Hey, this is a follow-up on a video I did yesterday about how you can release the fascia and the muscle stiffness that develops and the congestion that develops from sitting a lot, being on your phone. And um, the foam roller is an amazing tool that most people own, but maybe they're even underusing to do that. Um, there's, a, there's a second piece to this, and that is the idea that the nerve or the nervous tissue, which is a living tissue just like a muscle or the fascia, um, can also become sensitive. And the nerve is one of the reasons that your neck, down your arm, into your hand um, works as a system. And so the connection between why you might have dysfunction or stiffness up in your shoulder and why you might have symptoms in your hand um, is partly driven by the nervous system. Now, um, we have three main nerves that we can mobilize and desensitize and calm down. Um, the first one that I'm going to show you is the median nerve. And I'll just show you. It comes down the front of your arm, through your forearm like this, and into the thumb and the first two fingers on the palm side of your hand. That's where you get um, sensation for that part of your hand is from your median nerve. This is um, also known as the carpal tunnel nerve. And if people have ever had carpal tunnel uh, symptoms, the nerve tends to be involved somewhere along this line, okay? The second nerve is the radial nerve. It comes down from the neck and travels down the back of the arm, the tricep, through the lateral part of your forearm where a lot of people get uh, what they call tennis elbow or climbers get lateral elbow pain. And it comes down the forearm and comes into the back side of the hand in the thumb, the index, and the middle finger. That's where that gets sensation. It also brings power to this compartment, um, these muscles in the outer side of your forearm. Um, the third nerve is your ulnar nerve. It also comes from your neck, comes down the inside of your arm through your funny bone. And those of you that have smacked that know exactly how that nerve feels. It's a very electrical, um, burny kind of feeling. It comes down through the funny bone, down this side of your forearm, and into the pinky, ring finger, and sometimes half of the middle finger on both sides of your hand. So it gives sensation um, to the pinky side of your entire hand. So between those three nerves, we get sensation and motor power input to really a lot of the muscles in the whole entire arm, the shoulder, upper arm, forearm, and then down to the hand as well as sensation. So I'm gonna show you three mobilizations um, in that order, there's three nerves, that you can do on the foam roller and a way that you can help to calm down the sensitivity in the nervous system. Now, I'm gonna simplify this a little bit. Know that I'm gonna be moving the head to put the nerve on tension and off tension. And what happens when you move the neck and the head is you get most of the, the um, change in tension and, the, and the, the therapeutic benefit down in the elbow and the hand. Um, if you have restriction or dysfunction up in the shoulder, you can move the head as well, but sometimes it's beneficial to move the hand, and maybe I'll show you that variation as well. Um, know that this nerve tissue is very sensitive, so I generally don't recognize, uh, recommend doing this more than once a day, and we're looking at a really relatively low rep count, somewhere between, between 10 and 20 repetitions. Okay, so check this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the, the screen so you can see my arm a little bit better. We're gonna get on the foam roller just like we did before, Lying like this. Cool. I'm going to be using um, my right arm as the example. We're going to start with the median nerve or the carpal tunnel nerve. What you're going to do is you're going to face your palm away from you and your thumb's going to go down to the floor. Um, depending on how high you have your arm, you're going to have more tension through the nervous system as you go higher versus lower. Let's start about 90 degrees. I'm going to extend my wrist so my palm faces you. I'm going to use my other hand to make sure that my shoulder blade is relatively relaxed. It's not shrugged up to my ear. And then I'm going to let my head fall away from my arm. And as I do that, I'm going to feel tension increase and decrease. And increase and decrease. It's quite intense. There should be a definite on and a definite off. If there's not, move your hand a little lower. And we'll do on, off, okay? somewhere between 10 and 20 repetitions, depending on how good it feels and how you feel afterwards. The alternative to this is to work the wrist this way. You can go on and off and on and off. 
as I said before, this is kind of backwards that if I move my wrist, I'm going to get a lot of the therapeutic benefit up in my shoulder and even up in my neck, if that's where we think uh, the dysfunction is. The second nerve that I talked about is the radial nerve. To do this, we're going to put your thumb inside your fist. We're going to rotate. So it's like we're punching the floor and we're rotating the whole arm inward. You see that? We're going to drop the shoulder blade again, make sure it's not shrugged up. And then we're going to go on and off. And now I'm feeling it down through the tennis elbow or maybe climber's elbow side of my forearm. I even feel up my shoulder blade a little bit, which is really intense and I think feels really nice. So this is going to mobilize the nerve downstream. If I want to move the wrist instead, I'm going to keep the head neutral or slightly bend it to the left. And then I'm going to go flex the wrist, extend the wrist, flex the wrist, extend the wrist. On, off, on, off. I can also bend the elbow. On, off, on, off. Okay, so do the one that feels like it's the most therapeutic. 10 to 20 reps, don't overdo it. Nerve number three, this is the ulnar nerve that goes down through the funny bone, down to the pinky side of both the palm and the back side of the hand. For this one, you're gonna turn your palm facing your head. When you were a kid, did you ever do this? This is essentially putting your ulnar nerve in tension. It's kind of fun to do it on both sides. And this is the kind of thing that I do sometimes when I'm working on the computer a lot, it feels really nice. But I will make the point that when you're mobilizing nerves, you only want to do one side at a time. Sometimes they can start with the less sensitive side, and then that will decrease the sensitivity on my symptomatic side. Um, and then I'll do the symptomatic side second. Anyway, ulnar nerve, funny bone, down to the pinky side, palm faces my head. I'm going to use my hand to make sure that the pinky side of my hand and those three fingers are maximally extended. And then I'm going to bring my hand, palm towards my face. I'm letting my elbow drop toward the floor. I'm making sure my shoulder blade is relaxed. And then I'm moving my head away to go on tension and off tension. And on tension and off tension. And I can definitely feel that going down through my funny bone all the way into my pinky side of my hand. Okay. This is going to mobilize the nerve downstream. If I want to mobilize the nerve closer to my neck and my shoulder, I'm going to keep my head neutral and I'm going to go off and on and off and on. So now I'm moving the wrist or I'm moving the elbow off and on, off and on. Cool. So this doesn't take long. It's a once a day kind of thing. And what you should find is when you get done, while things might feel a little warm, and a little stimulated, it should make you feel better. If it's not um, feeling therapeutic, it's not reducing your symptoms over time, you might be too aggressive. I would encourage you to back off, maybe lower the arm a little bit, or just don't um, take the, the uh, wrist or head quite as far. Just make sure there's an on and an off point. So this is your, this is your best strategy, especially after you've mobilized the fascia, to get the nerves mobilized, calm the system down, and really to help you move past symptoms anywhere from your neck, shoulder blade, through your armpit, through your elbow, down into your hand. Um, I think you're gonna find that this really helps you to move through those injury patterns. And it might be just the missing uh, tissue that you, that you haven't quite been able to mobilize yet. Um, assuming you've treated joints and muscles and fascia and you've done all the right things, you've gotten stronger and you've improved your um, you know, stability and your mobility, the nerve oftentimes is the one tissue I see in the clinic that people tend to miss. So as always, um, please let me know how this goes for you. Um, take a second to follow my channel, add me to your notification list so you know as soon as new videos come out. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>